All right, this is a test. This is the case that I was talking to you guys about. It was like 20 bucks at a hardware store. It comes already with the foam and um, no modifications needed. Okay, so for sure I need to print something, 3D print something for the paints, like a little rack or something. That's not gonna be difficult. It's not, it's not the worst thing ever either. It's just a, a few seconds of just readjusting where the paint should go. But the real test is, are the minis safe? And the answer is absolutely yes. So this is how I think for starts, because I'm just getting into the hobby, I will be transporting my minis for either gaming day or painting night. And uh, I mean, 20 bucks, guys. I think it's a great investment, either if you are in a budget or if you are just... You know, starting with a hobby, not sure if you're going to stick with it or not. Uh, you know, preliminary phase. At least Pax Walker wanted to leave. There you go. I think another one left here. Okay. I may find a better solution for smaller models. Space Marines, pretty much, they stick really nice. They look good. Uh, maybe way to protect is putting some phone on top or some cross point or something like that. Um, contrast paints are a little taller, but I mean this is tight. Uh, if I just find a way maybe to cross something here um, Why not you can have your Codexes here. Um, I know this comes actually with a really nice um, Plastic portion of it to put some tools and stuff. Maybe you can put some brushes I'll try to find it and make a third video This is Mario with EME creative lab um, 3D printing, manufacturing, laser cutting, resin print, and CNC. Sorry, it's a little messy right now. And the little paint station over there. And the printing terrain that I've been working on. Still need some priming and uh, beautifying for sure. Okay, thank you. Bye.